So today we're going to change the screen on the ACES X55VD. So first, we got to uncover where the screws are. So there's a little cover here. We gotta take the, this out. Okay. I'll just set it there. Same thing on this side. Take the screw out here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna release the screw. This screw. Okay. And of course, you have to make sure that you took the battery out okay. and unlock, unlock, take the battery out first. Okay, and that's it. And now what we do is we're going to release the tabs. Okay. And just as we go around the corners. It could be a little tricky. And then you just continue on all the way to the end until you finish. So I'll show you the finished when I remove the cover off. Okay, so I took the cover right out. Like I said, you know, you just work your way through. Okay, so on this particular model, let's have a look. Okay, so we got a camera cable right here we have to disengage got one screw here one screw there one screw on this side there's two screws on the bottom okay right here actually three screws one two and three so there should be three on this side too okay and there they are right there so we're going to take these three these three and these two plus the camera cable and I'm going to take them out and I'll show you the finished result so I took the top screws out okay and there was no need to take out the bottom screws and the camera cable was no need to take that out so we're just gonna hold it down so all it is is just a video cable and so we have to take this cable out plus these two brackets and attach them to the new screen. So we'll take this one out. Okay, let's just release this one from this side. Yeah, it's perfect. Release this from this side. Should come right up. And that's it. Okay. So now we just gotta take this bracket right out. Okay. I'm gonna put the screw for it there. And we take this bracket right out. There. Get the new screen. Okay. Here's our beautiful new screen. Okay. I'll take this out. Okay. And we just reverse what we did. Put this back in here. Okay. You can tighten it afterwards. Okay. So go ahead. 
goes like this. Okay, and I'll tighten this one. And I'll tighten also this one on this side. Okay, never over tighten. Okay, that's it. And we'll put the video cable in. So again, there's no space. We'll tape it. And that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to flip it over. Okay. We should take out the protective cover. Slide it in here. And this one will slide right in there. And that is about it. Now we just gotta make sure we tape the cables down at the bottom. Okay, so I'll finish securing it in and then we'll put the cover back on. Okay. So we made sure that the video cable is back in the proper grooves and now we're going to put the screws here and the screws there. We should do that actually. Stop. So, uh, we made sure that the cables are in the proper positions. Okay, so when you clamp back the cover, it's not going to damage any of the cables. And now we will secure the top brackets with the two screws. There we go. And I should test it just to make sure that the cable's okay. Okay, we'll turn it on. Okay, there we go. And it worked. That's all we need. And now. We did this part, now we'll put the cover back on. Okay. So I'll fold this down as much as I can. Okay. So we can fit these right into the grooves there we go and then secure go around making sure everything snaps back in perfect on this side And get it secure from here. Okay. So we have to see where 
and that's it. Okay. So it's all closed from all the sides. Now we will put in the two screws at the bottom. Again, we flatten it as much as we can. There we go. And we flatten here and screw this back in. Okay, we don't want to over tighten. And we'll make sure we have a closed. Yep, it's all closed. We'll put the covers back on. Okay. And we're done. Thank you.